Today I thought I'd share my miniature painting setup with you. Because I'm painting at my office desk in a shared living room, I can't keep a permanent painting setup. That is why I optimized my space and my storage so it takes me only a few minutes to get everything out and about the same to put everything away again, depending on how much mess I've made. The key point is to keep everything very organized so it looks clean and is easily accessible. Because I think a lot of people are in a similar position with not having a permanent setup, I thought it would be nice to share my space with you, hoping you can take some good ideas or inspiration from it. Facing the wall, I got my office desk with a drawer cabinet for office and painting supplies, as I will show in a second. Behind the desk, I got a small bookshelf I mostly use as storage and next to it, a display case for my painted miniatures. So let's go through the setup process. Next to my desk, I have this rolling cart with most of my paints on the top basket. The rest of my paints is in the top two drawers of my cabinet. Like this, I can see most of the paints while painting and have them at hand if I need them. My cutting mat, wet palette and brushes are stored in the bookshelf and are really fast to get out if I need them. Other stuff like the water glass is in my rolling cart and the kitchen is actually right behind the bookshelf so water and paper towels are easily accessible when needed. Here you can see me setting up the lamp. I actually do have a second one of these and I do really recommend getting a second light because when it's really dark you want your miniature lit from all angles. So let's talk about this rolling cart I got from Ikea, which is by far the most important thing of the setup. Because it rolls around, it's quite flexible if I decide to paint or build in another part of the apartment. With the addition of the two desk drawers, it holds most of my paints on top, hobby tools in the middle and basing materials on the bottom. And there's actually a lot of room in this rolling cart. So I have most of my paints in there, here I can see I have some scale artist colors in the boxes there, the water pot, some foundations and on the other side I have a nail polish rack with all my washes and contrast paints as well as varnishes and thinners. I also added these two white baskets from Ikea that are holding other types of glues and stuff like old brushes, pipettes, files and hobby blades. As the whole thing is made out of metal, I also use the bottom of the basket to hold my magnetized miniatures holders. Let's get to the bookshelf. Besides the stuff I already talked about, like the cutting mat in the bottom, this holds a lot of different boxes with different things inside. Mostly organized from top to bottom after how much I use the thing that's inside. So here you can see on top sculpting materials, a bit of backlog in the middle and plinths at the bottom. And this box holds all of my bits. I put them all in different little assortment cases and poly bags so I can find everything when I need it. In the box underneath I have some more miniatures I haven't built yet, so I don't take that out that often. The rest of the drawers hold some stuff like bases and already built miniatures, so I have them ready when I need to paint them. And these two boxes are filled with tufts because I use a lot of them. At the top shelf I got a few display cases with my raven guard and my salamanders projects on display. This is complemented with another display case next to it, which is just another bookshelf from Ikea with a glass door. This holds most of my painted miniatures, a few Legos and a few VIP projects. Next to the cabinet I got more stuff, for example my brushes, a few forge world decal sheets and a few drawers I built to keep the tools I don't use as much, like the drill bits and spare blades for my hobby knives. As for my backlog, the miniatures are hiding everywhere in the apartment, so they can stare at me and judge me from all angles, but I guess that's part of the fun. So here you can see the whole process of setting up again in real time. I know this wasn't the most refined video, but it's my first try and I guess I have to start somewhere. I will see what I can do in the future, because I really want to do more of these, because it was a lot of fun and I like to share my process when I do miniature painting. I hope you can take some ideas from this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to see an in-depth video about a specific thing, like for example the bits box or the rolling cart or the paints collection, you can let me know and I'll see what I can do. Until then, please don't judge my accent and thanks for watching.